Hey everybody and welcome back to the channel. Hope you're doing great today. So today we're going to look at trail braking. Trail braking in sim racing, especially Gran Turismo Sport to be exact. Now I see a lot of drivers getting this wrong and it's just a very simple technique that needs to be done to improve. So if you've ever wondered why there's a guy that's always three, four or five seconds faster than you, this is the reason why. Put in very simple terms, trail braking is braking fully in a straight line, then as you get closer to the apex of the corner, gently come off the brake pedal very smoothly until you get right to the center of the point of the corner. And it's very important for this reason. Just like in a real racing car, they've accurately modeled this. So the weight will shift to the front, which will help you steer, and the rear will lose the weight, which brings rotation and slip angle. And both of these things give you a massive amount of lap time in TT Sport and indeed a real racing car. So what does this all mean? Why have you been braking wrong and how can you improve it by trying this method? So it's very simple. What we're going to do is we're going to take a look at a race replay and we're going to have a look at inputs. We're going to have a look at a race we had recently in the stream and we're going to see what we can learn. All right, we're lined up in the front of the grid here. This is from a recent uh, stream that we did. So we qualified on pole. We've beaten several fast drivers this pole position by using uh, very good trial braking. So I want you to pay attention to the brake pedal and the inputs that I do through this replay. And uh, I'll talk about this a little bit more. So we're gonna do the race start. So we're gonna get on the power as soon as the green light comes out. And we're going to go down to turn one. We're going to be a little bit defensive on the right hand side here. We just want to hug the inside line here. And we're going to break very late too. Probably a little bit too late, but we kind of get away with it. This car is behind us on the right hand side that you can't see right now. But we do defend um, the inside line perfectly. So, what's important to remember here is the fact that you cannot turn the steering wheel, uh, whether you're on a wheel or on a controller. You can't flick the steering wheel left or right fully, slam on the brake fully and expect the car to turn. The car will not rotate with the wheels locked. So think of like when you're driving a real car, if you've ever driven one of course, and think of let's say you're driving on ice. So you come to like an icy part of the road or you come to like a corner that's very icy. Now imagine how gently you had to brake and very tentatively and you couldn't just turn the steering wheel into the corner because your wheels would lock and you would just go straight on. So the same kind of applies in this situation. The tires will only do so much in one direction. So what do I mean by that? Specifically what I mean is when you brake you want to brake fully in a straight line and then gently as you come to the middle of the corner also known as the apex you want to gradually turn your steering wheel in so you hit the apex at the right clipping point and then you want to bleed off the brakes as soon as you get to the center point. So it takes a lot of practice to get this um, technique perfect. But when you do this in sim race, and you can take this to any other sim racing game, and you can be fast straight away as long as you learn the correct racing lines and how the cars handle. Uh, but the great thing about GT Sport is it's just jump on and play. You know, there's no there's no setups to worry about if you're doing like a uh, sport mode, for example. Or if you're in like a lobby like ours, there's no tuning required. So you just jump on, you get in the car, and your skill level will dictate where you finish. So let's go down the first corner. So we break fully, come to the apex of the corner, you see the inputs coming down there a little bit. And we just make sure we get through. So it's all about carrying the speed through the corner as well. So to improve your braking speed and tire wear, which I will come to, it's all about keeping up the speed through the corners. The corners is where the driver can make the main difference in a driving and racing game. So we come along this straight here, we're purple obviously because it's lap two. So as you can gently see there, uh, oh someone was talking to me at the stream at that point so I went a little bit wide, but we still made the corner anyway, anyway with a bit of trial braking. So the important thing to remember is in a race like this uh, you have very fast drivers behind you. You don't want to battle too much as well. You want to get your braking perfect. You want to make sure you hit every single apex. And that is how you're going to improve your speed in the game. So behind us right now, we've got Jono. So Jono is very, 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 very fast. 
and he's behind us now if you look on the track map there's like a group of cars behind us and they're all battling they're all breaking too late trying to outbreak each other and they're just gonna lose time so me and Jono know that if we just keep going uh, keep close to each other don't make any moves just keep pushing uh, keep the car nice and smooth uh, we will pull away and then at the end of the race we can start to battle and uh, go for a position basically it's what you do in like a top split FIA race you know so coming across here I did think that was gonna be a little bit of a penalty but I kind of go away with that as well it's a little bit of a cheeky um, late uh, apex there so as you'll notice with just general driving technique as well I trail brake in the corner I then come off the inputs completely I'm at the apex of the corner and then I'll get on the throttle and then when I think it's safe I will smash the throttle uh, full power no TC so let's look at the brakes again so we're braking fully come towards the apex gently lift off and then we make it through the apex and we just glide through so this one is pretty simple you just come off the power and let the car rotate through the corner so let's ride on board with Jono so we've seen my inputs as well and we can see Jono right behind us so we're going to take a look at Jono's inputs too and we're going to see that he uses exactly the same technique uh, with cornering so you can see he's on the brakes he's then off the brakes again gently through the corners on the brakes and then off again so it's very very important and this will gain you seconds like I say I've seen drivers that are literally they're just not braking correctly and it's not their fault they they obviously haven't seen the right information or learned the right techniques to do they're just basically fully braking and then get to the corner coming off everything kind of like dealing with the car in the middle of the corner and then trying to deal with a car on the exit of the corner so they're making a lot more work for themselves than needs be so you just want to be nice and smooth as you again can see Jono is trail braking nice and smoothly here he breaks a lot of here now in the race I wasn't braking for that corner at all but he's in the GT Citroen but he was managing to carry a lot of speed through that corner I did notice so he's gonna come on the slipstream now he's just gonna kinda of fake out of it there a little bit so you know he's not thinking about taking a move he's not thinking about diving down the inside as we get really good exit uh, through that uh, chicane there so I like to ride the curbs here in Nürburgring Grand Prix on the left I like to ride them quite aggressively and maximize everything in the corner uh, your racing line also dictates your speed too so as you can see Jono goes purple Jono was getting um, the fastest lap and I was like one tenth of a second away we were literally like that close until I smashed a, a good lap uh, later in the race I think it was like lap five I set the fastest lap something like that okay so now we're back to my bonnet view again so you can see the gap between us we're on lap four or seven uh, the gap between us is the same we're doing the same speed same sort of lap time and again it's all about watching watching the inputs so the inputs in this game is where you as a driver make the absolute difference the speed that you can go is dictated by your smoothness and your inputs so again bit of brake get to the middle of the corner bleed off the brake gently and back on the power again so the big stops is where you notice this the most like here for example let's watch this so again it's full on the brake bleed off towards the middle of the corner and then slam on the power just out of the apex and yeah it's absolutely the best technique and will keep your average speed up all through the race so with these techniques um, especially with braking and if you want to help with accelerating I can make a video on that too but you're you're really in a good place where you can practice in Gran Turismo you can practice even in like an offline setting where you're just doing time trial um, so you're by yourself on the track or qualifying for sport mode for example and you can use some um, the top 10 player ghost too and you can put the like an offset so you can try and chase their ghosts as well and you'll basically see where you're losing time against some of the best players um, so ghosts can be really helpful even your own ghosts like do like a time trial do like a fastest lap you save your ghost and you can like have like have it as a zero offset which means like it's right on there as we set the fastest lap on the race uh, just there or you can have it like a couple of tenths ahead or whatever and then you can reset it at each sector too so chasing ghosts also is a massive help to see where you're losing speed um, but it all comes down to practice 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 it's definitely 
what it's all about in terms of racing games, which I say all the time uh, live on stream. So as you can see, Jono is still chasing us, and you can see obviously from the track map we've got like a, about an 8 or 9 second gap, but Jono gets a little bit sideways out of the corner, pushing pretty hard. But yeah, we um, we know how to race, race hard and race clean. And if you pick up this technique, it just takes a little bit of, like I say, effort to do it, and you will literally start to get faster and faster and faster, and you'll be like, why didn't I do this before? Why wasn't I using this technique? Why was I just braking fully and then dealing with the car and then smashing all the power fully? Why was I not being smooth and why didn't I learn this technique before? And you'll start to shave seconds off your lap times and it will help you in sport modes. You'll be able to improve your DR um, and go up the ranks as well. And you'll be able to mix it with the guys that are really fast in the lobby. If you jump in like a lobby and you know you're watching the racing or you're taking part in the race and you're like why is this guy edging me like a couple attempts here or there but like every single corner this guy is edging me tenths of a second or half a second here and you just kind of like think well we're in the same car and i just don't understand how this driver can be so fast and it's all about your inputs it really really is all about your inputs uh your smoothness your driving lines your braking technique your accelerating technique and it all comes together as one to make you the complete driver to push you to limits that you didn't think you could do before right so we're going to skip now to the final lap we're going to ride on board with Jono so we'll take a look at Jono's inputs again so we had tire wear and fuel wear on for this race so we had to uh, deal with that in the midst of everything else so now the gloves are off me and Jono are going toe to toe you can see behind Jono there's like nobody um, everyone's kind of falling behind a little bit um, battling and that sort of stuff and um, we're coming through the last half of the lap so you notice how I use like all the circuit uh, you can legally get away with you know I want to maximize my apex uh, my exits and everything else especially with worn tires and especially with a very fast Jono chasing close behind because Jono is very 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 hard to, to beat you know so coming down here uh, John is not quite close enough to go for the move he knows that he's on the brakes again trail braking and going through the apex so at this point here I know I've got the win so I just keep it nice and uh, smooth all the way through we'll get very close there myself to actually wipe myself out of the barrier and come across the line and there is the win everybody so that's how you trail break in Gran Turismo Sport I really hope that's been of help to you uh, let me know in the comments below if you have any questions or just want to chat uh, if you need any advice or if you don't fully understand trail braking and want some extra help with it, I will easily help you guys out. And yeah, so I hope you've enjoyed the video, guys. Please remember to smash the thumbs up. It really, really helps the channel. Please subscribe if you're new. And we will see you very soon for another live stream. We'll be live again Saturday. And we will see you there. So thank you for watching, everybody. Stay frosty. You're a legend. And I'll catch you later. This is TJ. Bye-bye for now.